Hey everyone, I'm here today to talk to you about the Holly Dominator system. I'm going to run you through an overview on the system as well as show you how I've applied it to my application. Now the Dominator is referred to as a vehicle management system. That means that rather than being capable of just running the engine, it's also capable of running the transmission, all of your gauges, a variety of CAN bus devices, and just about any other sensor or input you'd like to add. The Dominator works for just about any 4 to 10 cylinder engine and has plug and play ignition set up for many GM applications including LS and HEI, a lot of Ford applications including TFI, Coyotes, Mods, can also do Dodge late gen Hemis and pretty much any magnetic or Hall effect ignition system. The Dominator is also pre-configured to plug and play run a variety of transmissions including the GM 4L60E, the GM 4L80E, as well as the Ford AODE and 4R70W transmission. Now the Dominator's got 47 inputs of varying types and 36 outputs of varying types, meaning the list of features is longer than I could ever list off to you and you guys would fall asleep listening to it. Some of the notable ones, you can run drive-by-wire throttle bodies, uh, you can run dual oxygen sensors, it's got self-tuning fuel maps, you can run traction control, water meth, electronic boost control with a whole bunch of cool features like boost by gear, boost by speed, boost by time. It's also got a multitude of fail safes that you can incorporate including lean AFR cuts, over boost protection, a variety of different water meth safeties, fuel pressure safeties, oil pressure safeties, you could do coolant pressure safeties, coolant temperature safety, just about anything you want. As long as you can get a sensor for it, you can make a safety out of it. As relates to my application, the Dominator is going to be controlling my turbo 6 liter LS engine, 4L80E transmission, electronic boost control, Holly water meth, as well as a full Holly dash. I'm going to incorporate a Holly screen for tunability out of the car as well. With all of the introductory details out of the way, now I'm going to take you through what a typical Dominator hardware setup looks like, starting with the ECU. So the Dominator ECU is part number 554104. Included with the ECU is a nice sticker so you can brag to your friends about having the best ECU out there, as well as mounting hardware, a USB cable, and this really nice Holly jump drive. The Dominator itself has a metal housing with rubber mounting feet to prevent vibration. It's about 13 inches long by 6 inches wide. You can see here too that all of the harness connections run along the same side. Next is the main power harness. This is part number 558308. Now because the Dominator ECU must be connected directly to the battery, this fuse, 13 foot long harness, made of 10 gauge wire, is specifically designed to do just that. Even includes 3 8 ring terminals. And for lots of you with rear mounted batteries, the harness should be long enough to get you there as well. For an engine harness, I'm using the part number 558102 plug and play harness. This works for engines with 24x crank sensors and 1x cam sensors. The harness is designed to plug into the factory GM sensors you can see the high quality connectors on here. Note that if you want to run any extra sensors such as fuel and oil pressure, all you have to do is buy the respective Holly pressure transducers. I'll list some of the part numbers in the description below. Here we've got the GM 4L60 and 4L80E transmission harness. It's part number 558405. This is a complete harness from end to end and it will plug directly into the 60 or 80E. The Dominator fully controls the transmission through this harness, including things like shift points, transmission line pressure, and even speedometer output. The J2A auxiliary harness is considered the input harness. It's part number 558401, and it plugs into the J2A connector on the side of the Dominator. It's pre-wired to run a second oxygen sensor and gives you access to 23 programmable inputs of varying types. This is a J2B auxiliary harness, considered the output harness. It's part number 558402 and gives you access to 26 programmable inputs. So the J2A does all your inputs, the J2B does all of your outputs. All of the inputs and outputs can be configured in different ways and are built to accommodate a wide variety of sensor types. 
I want to take you through the Dominator's CAN bus system, which is one of my favorite things about the ECU that a lot of people probably hear, associate with new vehicles, and don't ever try to figure out or consider, because it seems like it's too complicated. So CAN bus works on the principle that a master device, in this case the Dominator, can individually control a number of other devices. And the powerful thing about this is all of the devices are connected to the same two wires. So in a CAN bus system, your two wires, your CAN high and your CAN low, are connected to every single device out there. That's all you run. Now what the ECU does, the master device, it activates individual devices through specific addresses. So when the dominator wants to move one of your gauges, it accesses only that gauge, even though technically it's talking to every device in this system, only the gauge is responding. The great thing is all of this wizardry is pre-programmed by Holly, and all you need to do is enjoy the benefits. So here's a sample transaction diagram for you guys to understand. So the dominator will activate a device and then broadcast information to that particular device. That device will then respond to show the information and certain devices, in the case of the Holly Dash, can actually send information back. Now the great thing about this is even though there's very few wires and it's very fast, it's actually very expandable, which is what really makes it powerful. And that means that through this protocol in the future, Holly can add a variety of different gauges, they could add different screens, they could add different types of things we've never even seen in cars before. And because of how versatile this system is at accessing all the information in the computer, the device can work over Canvas with it, which is really cool. So these are the Holly Canvas analog style gauges I'm going to be using in my car. And if you take a look at these, they've got beautiful analog styling. Now the Canvas system actually allows all these gauges to be daisy chained together to the gauge module, which is part number 554130. You can see here, if you look at the back of the gauges, they all connect to each other with these little daisy chain cables. The first gauge in line, doesn't matter which one it is, plugs into this module here. You can see the module itself connects with one wire into the ECU, one switch 12 volt power wire, and a ground. And that's it for all of your gauges. So you can imagine how many senders and different wires this eliminates. On to the Holly electronic boost control setup. I'm going to be using a fairly advanced closed loop boost control method on my car to target a particular boost pressure and electronically control it. To use this boost control method and other methods for two port wastegates, it's highly advised that you run either two of these 557-200 Holly solenoids or a single 557-201 solenoid. To properly work, these solenoids will also need a dome pressure sensor, and in this case I'm using the 554-102. The Dominator has a variety of boost control methods, so you should really check out Holly's boost control PDF, give it a read, and see which method works best for you. I've chosen the most advanced, but most direct method of control, because I'm very familiar with control systems. You don't have to do it this way. You could pick a simpler method and still have really great results. I'm also going to be using the Holly water methanol injection system. Now this is a system which sprays a mixture of water and methanol and it effectively raises your octane from about 91 to around 114. Now there's lots of different water methanol setups out here, but the amazing thing about the Holly system is it's fully integrated into the ECU and it can control exact flows. And that's something that no other system can do. This really simplifies tuning, maximizes power, efficiency, and most importantly, engine safety. Now I know this is all a lot to take in, and I just want to go through my favorite features of the Dominator with you. Now the first thing I really like about it is that because the Dominator is controlling my engine, my electronic boost, and my transmission, I can do things like boost by gear, boost by speed, and boost by time, which will really help the car get out of the hole. Last year this car made 705 pound-feet of torque with a manual transmission, and you better believe it was an absolute nasty thing to try to get to hook up. It's really hard to make a car with that kind of power leave. So I'm hoping the Holly system really simplifies that and makes it hook way better out of the line as well as roll on better. The second thing I really like about the Dominator is because it's got 23 extra inputs and 26 extra outputs, I can do a huge amount of things with those like shift lights, traction control, different warning lights. And if you're a nerdy controls guy like me, 
the options are absolutely endless of what you can do with this. And that's where a lot of the other ECUs will really fall short of the dominator is they'll run out of those extra two inputs or those extra two outputs that you need for a safety feature that's going to save your engine. Now, another great thing about the dominator is the support. You can check out the Holly forums, you can find a vehicle similar to yours, and you can download their entire tune. If that's not enough for you, you can call their tech support line who are very knowledgeable and very friendly, and they'll get you going. And Holly has support with their ECUs that no other company does. They're second to none in this, in this realm, and that's really, really good for the backyard guy who's trying to get kind of an oddball setup running. Now, my favorite features of the system, and these are both tied for first place here. The first one is the expandability and development. If you look at the history of Holly's EFI systems, they don't let their systems go obsolete. And I see so many new products, and it always surprises me that they're cross-compatible with the older ones. So something you get with the Holly unit is when you buy a Dominator, you know that in two years, when another really cool, amazing feature is out there, it's probably going to be expandable and it's going to be applicable to the Dominator too. You don't have to throw your ECU in the garbage and go get something else, which I really love. Now, my other favorite, favorite, favorite feature about the Dominator is that because it's actually a full vehicle management system, you can run the maximum number of safeties. The Dominator is controlling my engine, transmission, boost control, water meth, everything. It has tons of extra inputs for other sensors and safeties. So what that means is for a guy like me who has to pay to rebuild his own engine, I've got the most assurance that the Holly system is going to keep things as safe as possible and it's going to give me the biggest chance of getting by without something silly happening and blowing it up. The amount of engines I see that blow up because of silly things like overboosting or going lean under full throttle, it, it's outstanding. And people will often blame their tune or they'll blame this or they'll blame that. But the Dominator system, because it manages so much of your vehicle, it's giving you the biggest room for error with all those things. If you put a little bit of extra money into getting a really good ECU like the Dominator that's actually a full vehicle management ECU, you can take that money out of your motor and take it out of potential blown motors and potential blown transmissions due to overheating. So for me, those are my favorite features about the Dominator. And I think it's pretty clear why everybody loves this ECU and why I love it and why I'm very excited to be using it. Going forward now, I'm going to do a full video on the installation of the Dominator with all of this hardware. And that's going to include the water meth system, the electronic boost control system, mounting, all the wiring, and even the tuning and setup. So that's it for me. I'll be back with more. And as always, feel free to comment below with any questions. Thanks for checking this out. We'll talk to you soon.